Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sasa Sasa, and welcome to another episode of Tracing the Dragon with Midnight Cigar Eric. It's a double review for this particular Breakhouse JC Newman Breakhouse um, Dragon Fire. Okay, so I didn't really consider this as a dragon um, for our Chasing the Dragon. But they did celebrate it with like a great smoke thing and they did say that it's for like, you know, celebration of Year of the Dragon. So we looked for it, but like it really did not tr in intrigue me, did not get my interest that much that I didn't feel like I had to buy a ticket to go to that just to be able to buy a box or a stick. And at that point, Peter, the cigar collective, said that he had them. He ordered them uh, and then he donated them to me and Eric to be able to do this uh, review. So big thanks to Peter, the Cigar Collective. Make sure to watch their Cigar Bin. They, they have a lot of good topic and talking stuff. That's better than, thing. yeah, they 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 have uh, guests come out and chat and um, they have review some cigar that's not banned. It's kind of cool. Go check it out. So anyways, uh, let's take a good look at the cigar. Okay, JC Newman Brickhouse, Dragon Fire. There's not much of good information other than that it's a box press 6x40A with the shaggy foot. They made 300 bars of 10 cigar, which I don't think that's correct because they're still selling it somehow. Um, a box is what, $128.50, so roughly each one is $12.85. And based on the information that this cigar is based on the original Brickhouse blend, that yeah, will tell me that this is a Nicaraguan Piero because I think that Brickhouse is Nicaraguan Piero. So with that being said, I did try to flake open the shaggy foot. Looks like long filler just bunched together very loose, loosely and then wrapped over box press really tight. We'll get started. Okay, so as you can see, the information is rare on this one is scarce. So we just had to smoke it. All right, it's woodsy, a little bit, a little bit coffee. Yeah, woodsy and coffee and maybe a little nutty and pepper. Oh, that's got to get my nose. Oh, that's got to get my nose. Shouldn't breathe in so much. Ah. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. All right, let's go. It's okay. There's more cap. I can lose one. Earthy Bonyar Leathery, I guess. Kind of stinky. Okay. Mm. 
Even the burning smell is kind of a little bit stinky. <laughs> no draw. <laughs> Do I have to burn out this fruit? It's like no draw on this thing. Dragon fire. Gotta set down fire. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Ah, oh, it feels like smoking a fuma leaf. Yeah, the draw is so weird that it feels like you just go to the factory, roll a leaf, and then smoke it. That's that's the the, the level of draw this thing got. It's horrible. I'm gonna flame it up. Tastes like a watered down. Very, very watered down flavor. Uh, watered down cinnamon, pepper, spice, wood. A lot of pepper. Oh, a lot of pepper. And very messy. Yeah, it's just I have this like very generic taste, but it's got a, like a, it really tastes like it's watered down. It's got like a, almost like a mineral cover, so it tastes like some flavor that got watered down with some mineral water and just blend. But you know that something's going out there. So I think the um, the main reason is because there's no wrapper yet. Right there is a little bit of like a licorice watered down sweetness, and what could have been a really badly poorly poured coffee. That has been sitting there for days. Yeah, let me smoke one third. Be right back. All right, first third. I don't know if I should continue to review this, but this is just a underfilled version of the regular brick house, right? The brick house. Obviously, Havana Sea wrapper, but the rest of them is Nicaraguan, Nicaraguan Puro. It is supposed to go with a woody cedar and earthy uh, taste. And this is even more underfilled because of box press and it has less flavor. Why? It has a little bit like, well, maybe like nutmeg too. Hmm. Should I keep reviewing this one? Should I, should I move on? I don't know. All right, I'll be right back. You know, I don't know why they want to call this dragon fire other than the shaggy foot. You really, you really didn't do anything for it. You didn't change anything. You didn't make a special blend for this. You just change the size and call it that and celebrate your other dragon. That's not really celebrating. That's, you know, this is even less of innovation than that main cigar that was out for the same event the smoke in gray smoke even it's even this is wow break house for 12 dollars all right be right back okay we're back second third burns really fast i don't even know why i'm smoking this still but very watered down light notes of cedar cocoa Leather and maybe some earthiness. That's all I got. That's all I got. 
This is the exact same thing as any other brick house. Regular stuff. That you can buy for $5. I don't know why you're buying this. And unfortunately, I can't go anything at like below 6. So this is going to get better than what he deserves. Yep. Yeah. All the same. Now, if you're a beginner, probably also taste some creaminess. But that's just light. That's just watered downness. That's not creamy. All right. And a little bit of pepper here and there. I should, I should say a little bit that the pepper is so sharp. It hurts my nose. It's not a lot of it, but it's sharp. It's so sharp. Yep. So yeah, last, uh, you know what? I might as well show you the band. It's the exact same band as any other brick house. There's no, there's no specialty to it. The only difference is the box that has the word dragon fire on there. That was it. Still, no. The bag has the JC Newman information. I'm, just, I'm not going to bother. But yeah, brick house. It tastes like a brick house. It is a brick house. It's a box price brick house that did not taste better. All right. So last there, we'll be right back. And literally this thing took, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes to smoke. Right now, another 10 minutes or so. We'll be done. Be right back. All right, we're done. The I know it sounds boring, but this is what it is. It's just, it's just a brick house. There is nothing special about it. If you buy another brick house for five bucks, it will taste the same. Only thing it doesn't have box press and um, shaggy foot. Everything else is the same. Other than this thing gets even lighter because it's underfilled. So and it's the 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 wrapper itself is pretty weak. So I don't really taste much. It's it gets even less than the last third. So very quickly, the cigar is worth. Less than six, but I have to give six. So six dollars. And yeah, I'm pretty sure based on my review on this, Eric is but is gonna have something even worse. He's gonna hate it even more. Okay. So yeah, make sure to check out his review. Might be fun, might be funny. For me, I can't say anything about this because it really is just the same cigar. It really is the same cigar. Nothing about it really doesn't qualified to be a dragon okay so yeah again thanks for peter sending me the cigar so i don't have to buy it i will have been very disappointed and that will be it for the cigar review chasing the dragon i think that's pretty much it i have like one dragon more that's it if anything else is done with something like that but we'll see if i don't know we got a few months left maybe it's another company like hey we're late to the game but here's another dragon who knows right so yeah that'll be it for the review if you like it make sure to like subscribe comment share um Did I miss something? I didn't. All right. So other than that, check out Swag. Check out our podcast. Check out membership. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.